Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sherry here. I've got really a uh, interesting look. I don't know if I want to record it. It's like a graphic liner with a nude lip. Um, it reminds me a little bit of like Nefertiti a little bit. It's it's very goddess-like. Um, so this is the vibe. So in today's video, we're going to do an empties. I do this pretty routinely. I know that a lot of channels usually post it every once in a while. I've got a three separate sections. One is skincare. The other one is like makeup. I'm probably going to make this the last one because there isn't anything really like too interesting in there. But I'm really excited to do a miscellaneous, which is basically non-makeup and beauty-related items. So if you're interested to see what I've emptied out, if I'm going to repurchase, then stay tuned. A lot of it is miscellane miscellaneous, so I'm just going to go over some random things. The first thing I want to talk about, I've actually had this for a while. I've emptied up the Herbal Essences Wild Natural Oil Elixir. It intensely conditions with every drop. Um, it has grapeseed oil, safflower mint peppermint and it has dimethicone which i'm not a huge fan of because i feel like dimethicone is in almost everything i've emptied it i've had it for a while the reason that i'm talking about this is because i'm not even really sure honestly if i want to use this again or if i want to buy it again i don't even know how i had it i feel like when you live with like family sometimes you end up sharing products this may have been my brother's and i may have taken it from him when i was growing up my hair i actually really like the oil it smelled amazing there is fragrance in it but it's at the bottom of the list i'm not that crazy about like um ingredient it also has olive oil i think i really like grapeseed oil and i think i want to buy that by itself i like that it had a pump so it's easy to distribute one or two pumps really softened my hair and i preferred to use this when I was on like second day hair when I had a little bit more hair and it felt like it was really absorbing and like lock in moisture. Um, will I repurchase it again? again? Probably if I see it on sale or something, but I'm not running out to the streets to buy it. I do like it, but I'm not a huge fan of having dimethicone in the first ingredient just because I don't think dimethicone is. This is the Tom's of Maine anti plaque and whitening. It's fluoride free. It was in the flavor of peppermint. I went through this really fast fast it costs about like five bucks at the place that i bought it i wasn't really impressed by it i ended up going back to colgate but i don't like the colgate one either and i'm on the hunt I, i'm not turning into a green beauty person because i really like a lot of the brands and I think people can either take certain ingredients out that are harboring your, your your skin but this Tom's one I feel like just isn't really that great I don't really have anything interesting to say about it I am um, it has glycerin in it and I'm not sure why you need glycerin and toothpaste um, if anyone knows please sign up in the comment why you need glycerin I don't want to sound like ta Tati because I feel like Tati gets mad about ingredients too I do like to read ingredients because I care about what I'm putting in my body and you should too and that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be like a green beauty person or you have to be like organic or natural you do what works for you I do use things that have preservatives and chemicals and I still use Wendy's like I'm obviously not like I believe in balance and obviously I shouldn't eat Wendy's but like if you're hungover who the fuck isn't gonna eat Wendy's but Tom's I don't know this just wasn't really great I never felt like my teeth were really clean I'm probably why is it a red I'm probably not going the next to thing I want to talk about this came in a little set I had a bunch of um little ruler balls um from the brand Penrose. Um, this is the flavor, the flavor, the scent Wild Child. I just want to talk about um, the notes in it. So it's definitely very fruity. I put whatever was left on my hand and I loved the way that this smelled. Like it does have a reminiscent smell of like perfumes you would get when you were like younger, like something at like um, Bombshell from, from. Victoria's Secret like kind of it's it's definitely a little bit more juvenile. I would say that It has okay, so it says that it's like the girl next door kind of formula Which I do agree with it has notes of gardenia jasmine and it's fruity and it's floral I feel like this is nice for like spring and summertime 
but I actually feel like it's light enough for me to appreciate in the summertime. I don't care for like really heavy fragrances during the during the winter time. I do like a mix of like a fresh and a little bit of a floral. It's kind of a hard thing, so I do like to layer my fragrance. That's how you keep it longer. I don't talk about fragrance a lot on my channel, but as you can see back there, I've got a ton of shit, and above there is plenty of um, fragrances. But this is definitely a favorite. I would get this again, but I currently have a bunch of fragrances right now, so I think that I would wait till probably midsummer to pick this up, and I would get it in the rollerball set. I will say that I don't like the fact that. Um, they come so tiny it got so quick and to be honest i had it for a little bit for a little bit a little bit and i had it on its side and it leaked so you know rollerballs usually last you a little bit long unless you like really scroll it i'm not a huge rollerball fan like if i get a trial size that's in the rollerball section of like sephora or any place i would prefer that it has a pump because i feel like a pump it's just gonna spray over your body and I feel like sometimes you want to actually put it on your clothes even though I, I don't think that you should. I just want to talk about how much I love these nit um, nit uh, nitrogen Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Treatment. It had hyaluronic acid in it. My only beefing tip is that I didn't really care for the packaging. I feel like for... I think I spent like nine bucks on this. That is so expensive for a lip product. I think if you're gonna spend up there you might as well get like a... Uh, fresh because they make really nice beauty um, lip treatments i think those are worth up there this is a really good product would i buy it again absolutely if i had a coupon code with it but i just think the fact that i spent nine dollars on such little product and i hit pan so quickly was kind of annoying that's my only little beef into it but the product was really good my lips always feel hydrated i love to put like a really thin thin layer of this right before i put a liquid lipstick on or even before i put a bunch of gloss because i layer my gloss I have lipstick I have a liquid lip or a lipstick and I use liner and I'm reapplying reapplying and I probably have you know like my bite beauty on to underneath that so I feel like products like that um once you layer them they'll 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 get kind of gucky and they'll start to feel heavy on the lips and like a thin layer of this helps me avoid using bite beauty so that I'm more protected and then when I am ready to like completely take off the liquid lip or completely take off the lip product that I have on my lips um that i'm hydrated and is protected hyaluronic acid i find that in, in ingredients and it, it's an ingredient that usually lasts really long in whatever product it's in whether it's a moisturizer a spray and it's probably one of my favorite um tools not tools but a pretty great ingredient i just hated how quickly this went like i had it a long time but that was because i pushed the product to stay long on my lips it's a great product. I think any, everybody should try it. It's just a lot to spend for $9. But I just think that this was really good. This entire bottle is like $60. Bucks. And then this mini one I think is about $15. This was sent to me I think in a BoxyCharm several months ago. And I, I stumbled upon it because I used it one time when I had it um, after I got it in BoxyCharm. And then I put it in my basket in my bathroom stuff. And every once in a while I'll go through it and I'll be like, oh, what's in here? What, what can I can rediscover? What did I forget to use? And then right before I chopped off my hair, I was using this a lot, a lot to bring it back to life. And it always did. It's a really great product. It has amazing reviews in Sephora. I think everyone should try it. It's a, it's a decent size. I think this is about 15, maybe no more than 20 bucks. But Riojo is one of those products that you can use a little bit and really get through the strands my fro never got any bigger than probably like around here i had like a a twa which stands for teeny weeny afro and it just felt really hydrated i will say that you have to balance this with an oil the next day like you you have to use this in combination with the rest of your hair care routine and products immediately like once it hydrates you have to keep hydrating it and keep it uh, locked in make sure that you're you're keeping it well maintenance and take care of because you I used to have this issue where I would like deep clean my hair um, deep sorry deep condition my hair and then I kind of would not give a fuck about it and then I dyed it so my, my hair was getting really like crispy so which is why I cut off my hair and I do want to grow it out again which is sort of you kind of see it coming together now it looks really like weird but I feel like this is something that's worth repurchasing and worth taking a dig and getting a sample they usually give samples like these all the time at, at sephora true i got this as a sample i loved 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 these i feel like 
with these packets right I had to stop myself for a second so with these packets obviously you need two more and usually you don't even need that much shampoo because once it lather lathers up it can really get in there there's always enough shampoo but there's never enough conditioner I had a little bit of a fro so if I had one more I feel like I would have really really like appreciated so I had to apply a little bit of water to spread because you usually use water at the end of a conditioner or, or something like liquidy to sort of get the rust of that and and be able to saturate the hair I found that this really worked well with my curls when I had it which I was shocked because I usually think brands like this are not geared for women of color or people who have like thicker texture like this but it worked really well and it, it was meant for curly hair it actually has really good ingredients and really good um, products that I feel like are for the health of the hair as opposed to like this is for this kind of hair and that kind of hair they do have products that are for specific kind of hairs like they make a um a vitamin that's for thinning oil and dry hair drying hair which i've been wanting to try for the longest because it has ashkawanda in it which is going to help maintain the hormone levels in your in your body so that whenever you are stressed you never really like um let it affect the rest of your body so i heard that that helps grow your eyebrows your uh your hairs but you could get a mustache the reviews are really like really interesting um but i've been wanting to try those out i've wanted to i love vitamins and i love supplements and i want to step my game up in 2019 and really like get into like um more of like a natural holistic way of healing myself i'm so excited i love doing empties because i want to share what i've used what i'm going to repurchase when my hair grows out, I will probably get a small of size of this so that I can compare it against Diva Girl because I've read reviews for both of them and they both seem really good. But I want to wait till my hair gets a little bit of a more of a curl palette pattern and it starts to grow because i already have a shampoo and conditioner right now which has been working for me but at the same time like i don't have much hair so it's not like i'm really comparing it against anything i'm always concerned about the health of my curl and how much i can work with it because it always traumatized me to even comb that bitch and the last thing i want to talk about which is kind of old i've had this from the summer but i've been wanting to do an empties for a while this is the eo natural deodorant wipe i love these in the summer the last time i used this was when i was in actually in california these are really nice to have on the go um, it says that it removes odor causing bacteria saves time it's easy to use it doesn't have uh, aluminum chloride parabens phthalates glycol um, the ingredients are Organic ethanol, purified water, glycerin, which you guys know brings um, like moisture and hydration to your skin. And then it has your, your usual um, EO uh, essential oils in it, which is lavender and um, I think that's it. And wait, what the hell is this? Lavender and lavandula i guess that's like another scientific way but this was really nice i always felt refreshed when i had a couple of these i got these at whole foods for like a dollar i would definitely repurchase this especially since we're going into spring and summer i feel like it doesn't hurt to have something like this in your pack it's very small and very compact there's one that's in there you use one side for each pit and you get in and go so i mentioned i would, I would repurchase this i would repurchase this or repurchase this and repurchase this i think the only thing i wouldn't repurchase is the Tom's uh, toothpaste oh and that hair oil <laughs> so I will see you guys next time for my next video Don't forget to subscribe like comment and turn on the notification bells because YouTube is trying to pay me and these algorithms between Twitter Instagram YouTube all of them they they want the top of the top to be at the top and that's, and that's granted. Whoever's making the money, that's the world that we live in. It's realistic. I don't take it personal. But the only way for my channel to succeed is if you support me. And trust me, I appreciate it when you do. And I love making videos for you guys. So until next time, it's been real.